a few frantic moments here about half an hour ago when um, all of a sudden several of the volunteers came in here and they were saying, just get these animals out of here. Um, but now uh, one of the workers here has cleared it with the fire chief saying this building is no longer a threat. And so the, the word is bring the animals back in here. Um, they're safe. Uh, in case people were wondering what kind of um, or how many animals there are here, uh, 25 cats and dogs is what one of the uh, one of the workers told me earlier. Uh, but again, uh, things looking much better as far as at least the threat to this building goes. Uh, again, it was just a frantic scene. I think. Okay. Uh, well, I can one tell you that sometimes this signal breaks up. Uh, Rob, your signal was just breaking up. Go ahead and start again. Or resume, yeah, I should it was say. around four in the morning. Yeah, it was around four in the morning that one of the workers found out about this, uh, and you know they rushed here. We had volunteers uh, rushing into this place about half an hour ago. Again, at the time, you know, understandably concerned about what was happening, saying, "Get all of these animals out of here." So what we did was, you know, they didn't have enough people. I grabbed a couple of dogs. My photographer Dave grabbed a couple of dogs by the leash. We went outside and we were just standing by, waiting. Uh, the thought was, okay, put them into some trucks and we'll take them to where it's safe. Then, just about five minutes ago, word came uh, by one of the workers here that the fire chief does indeed say uh, that this building is not a threat. You know, you can see uh, the cats over here. Um, again, between 25 dogs and cats here at the Mary S. Roberts Pet Adoption Center and things looking much better right now, at least as far as this facility goes. And I know there were a lot of animal uh, lovers out there concerned about the situation here with these animals at the Marius Roberts Pet Adoption Center. But uh, as the fire burns in the Santa Ana Riverbed, which is directly behind uh, this facility here, and, and embers are just being um, tossed up in the air and carried for quite some distance by the wind, it does look like this facility uh, is not a threat. At least that's what someone with the fire department told some of the workers here and now the animals coming back into the center back to you for now Rob let me ask you a quick question and this is kind of just for people who might not be familiar with what they're looking at we have uh, two pictures up we have Scott Riven Air 7 over Europa Valley and then your uh, locator says Riverside are you in the city of Riverside now but you're still covering the 46 fire Absolutely. Uh, the 46 fire started in the city of Harupa Valley and then was carried. Uh, the embers were carried by the wind into the Santa Ana River bottom and then it spotted up here into the city of Riverside where one uh, industrial building uh, caught fire and the fire spotted elsewhere. But for those unfamiliar with the area, the Santa Ana River uh, where the fire is burning intensely is sort of the dividing line between the city of Riverside and Harupa Valley. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.